I know that I'm gonna look back <laughs> at this experience and just be amazed at the things that I was able to do as a high school junior. I mean, if you really, th if you break it down, it's like we went to Scotland with some of our best friends. We performed there and we met a lot of really cool people and we saw the country, not the country, but the city. I mean, that's just a really cool thing in and of itself. We were doing a show that nobody obviously knew because we wrote it ourselves <laughs> and it's really hard to like Like it was really easy for us to connect to other people because they were like, oh, we're doing guys and dolls And it's like, oh my gosh, I love guys and dolls like you can you know sing the same songs and know exactly what the show is about without even you know necessarily seeing their production of it but we were those kids that we're doing like a new piece. Like we were doing something really alternative that like obviously no one had ever heard of. And that was really awesome and also, also kind of powerful. I think that we came into AHSTF with a lot more of a connection to our show than everyone else, which is not to say anything about their performances or their shows. It was just that we really had been with our show since the beginning. We created it from scratch. It had more of us in it than it, it, any other show possibly could have that wasn't, you know, created by the cast. It also caused a lot of stress because so much was subject to change and there was so much interpretation going on all the time. We weren't sleeping that much. <laughs> We'd get back to our rooms and it would be like 12.30 and, you know, you wake up the next morning, you want to go sightseeing, you want to do things, but not getting a lot of sleep definitely did not help the fact that I was getting sick and that was really rough and to like try like turn down opportunities to go do things kind of like sucked because I was like I can't go do that I can't wake up and go for a run because I have to stay and sleep particularly the military tattoo it, it's something that's so uh, like I've never seen anything like it before it's like such a spectacle I think the tattoo was really incredible seeing all the bands from all of the different countries perform and all the amazing artistic expression on the gigantic field was really amazing and the visuals were just so bright and really incredible the the fact that it's so big and that like every country whose military band was there really brought something that was um very culturally important to them. My relationships with my friends changed dramatically uh, while I was abroad because, you know, when you travel with someone, that's when you really get to know them. You really understand a new level of their personality. I think being friends with people at school is a lot different than being friends with someone in a different country. You really have to be responsible with your friends and it's also delicate keeping your friendship strong even when you're spending 24 hours a day with them. Throughout the whole process of Alice, not just when we were in Scotland, but especially when we were there, um, there were people in the cast that I hadn't really interacted all that much with, but I really felt like I became a lot closer with a lot of those people, which was really, really nice because they were really great relationships that I might've just missed out on if I hadn't been put into a situation where I was spending a lot of time with them. I think in any situation where you have a lot of high schoolers spending a lot of time together, there's gonna be tension sometimes a lot of it. So it kind of got tense pretty often and we got through it, but there were definitely times when I worried about the connection between people and the relationships between people, including myself. I definitely felt like we were, it was all really great and there was like a point where it's like we all like hated each other. But then the next day, like once we got closer to the end, we like realized, wait, this is really great. Like we shouldn't let little things bother us and in the end, like everything worked out and we're really happy and I really miss it. <laughs>
after our last show in Scotland, in our theater, we finished early because we were so trained by that point. We were doing everything perfectly, so we finished 15 minutes early. So we had 45 minutes, including the 30 minutes we usually got, to clean up and get everything ready. And it, so we kind of just partied. We played music over the loudspeakers. We jumped around and danced and just had the best time. And that will always stick with me, that feeling of camaraderie with these people that are my best friends. Not many high schoolers get to just like jet off to Scotland for the summer, you know? Not, I mean, especially for like an experience like the Fringe, like that's so unique and it's really something that most people will never get to do in their lives. It really helped me to grow as an actor trying to act in a place where I didn't know the audience, an audience that was not familiar with me as Ben, but was seeing me for the first time as a character. It really made me feel like I was an adult and I was like, taking this large step towards independence. Oh, definitely, definitely a valuable experience. I, I have, I don't even know how to explain how great it was. It really impacted me in such a strong way and it, the good parts and the bad parts really just came together to make a real experience because no experience is just good parts or just bad parts. It was a really wholesome experience that made me into a better person. I am so grateful that I got the opportunity to do this.